was your first reaction on being elected Pope? Well, I told him there'd been a terrible mistake. <laughs> That's Robbie Coltrane from Nuns on the Run and another clergy comedy, this one called The Pope Must Die. And this film has achieved a little notoriety about whether its newspaper ads would contain the film's entire title. But I can tell you this picture isn't worth the controversy. It's not very funny in its story of murderous intrigue in the Vatican with crooked Vatican clergy mixing it up with crooked Vatican bankers and corrupt businessmen in an effort to control the Roman Catholic Church. Alex Rocco from The Godfather plays a conniving cardinal trying to put in a puppet pope to replace the one who has just died as he addresses a deadlock college of cardinals. Is this the guy who says, yes, I'm the pope and no one kicks my church around? Huh? Is this the guy who's going to fill your empty churches? Through a mistake, however, the word goes out that another man has been selected, a simple country priest, played by Robbie Coltrane. His superior can't believe he's been chosen. I love the Catholic Church, Albanese. And if anything happens to it, I'll come looking for you. Back to the forces of darkness, led by corrupt businessman Herbert Lam, dressed like he works in the Black Forest, but his name is Vittorio Corelli. How could such a thing happen? Who is responsible for this? What's he saying? He says to raise your hand. The style of the Pope Must Die is crude humor, and it's supposed to be funny because <gasps> foul language is being said in the Vatican of all places. But the gags are tiresome, and the storyline about the new Pope being a good guy is, well, it's as predictable as it could be. I didn't like this movie one bit, and I, I sat there trying to analyze my feelings because, you know, uh, as a Catholic, I enjoy, I must admit, I enjoy humor about the Catholic Church. Obviously, there is humor to be found there, sure. and I think the problem was... You have to take something seriously in order to kid it. And if you only see it as a target to throw darts at, if you don't believe that there's any underlying reality or any underlying significance, then it doesn't have any importance. And so what does it mean that you've deflated it? They're just taking strange costumes and strange rituals well, and using them uh, in order they're to... They're trying to have fun. They're have trying fun to have with fun with the, the Vatican Bank, and, and the picture yeah. pays off with money being given to uh, the poor of the world. Okay. Big deal, yeah. But, well, you could, you could take that. You could make a wicked comedy. Well, this you is, could. This isn't wicked. This is just foul mouth and not very funny.